Hello and welcome to a new series on my channel which is called Let's Talk Art. And as the name suggests, we pick a topic and talk about it and keep learning something new. So we begin with today's episode and today's topic is folk art. So have you guys ever wondered what folk art is? Well, in simple words, it's an expression of culture in the form of visual art and every folk art form has a unique way to convey that in terms of their use of colors or patterns. Now to elaborate, it is a distinctive type of art form, you know, made by the people of any indigenous community and through their art, they actually represent their own community's values, taste and traditions. So basically, a folk artist shares with the world what he or she has learned from the community or their family or maybe even occupation. A folk artist may learn the skills in an informal community setting or it may be passed on through generations or sometimes they are also formally trained. Now, unlike fine art, folk art has a very, you know, naive approach and often misses proportion. You may have noticed that. It may be expressed through the usage of bold figures, repetitive patterns or vibrant colors. It is often handcrafted and it is always seen to be utilitarian and decorative and may not just limit to the paintings, but also it has been practiced in the forms of murals, sculptures, wooden carvings, pottery, textiles, etc. So if we have to sum up, Folk art basically expresses and enriches the history of a particular culture through its unique and distinctive style, figures or colors. Now, the survival of tradition and heritage is actually the fundamental in any form of folk art. Yet, folk art is not merely a repository for tradition, New themes or motives constantly evolve from old ones or out of new circumstances or situations or as you know the time moves on. So some of the uh, unique examples of folk art include uh, Madhubani painting which is a famous folk art from India or if we talk about Germany there is Or Mountain folk art and if we talk about Scandinavia it's uh, the Kurbits or rose melling, which is a decorative painting, decorative form of painting, which is from Scandinavia. So these are few of the examples. Well, there are n number of folk arts and there are so many different varieties that we need a lot of time if we have to discuss just the examples. And to go in the details, well, that will take another 10 or 20 episodes. So I hope you know, your doubt about folk art is cleared if you didn't know about it or, you know, if you wanted to know more about it, I hope you learned something new today. So thank you so much for watching this episode and just feel free to put in some suggestions for new topics or art them themes that you would want to learn about in future. So I'll see you next week with another interesting topic on art. Stay tuned and stay safe.